Hey everybody, welcome back to another deck profile. I'm Richard and today we're doing my Bazargra uh, updated deck with DBT12. But before we get into that, I real quickly want to talk about our sponsor, which is 50 Cards. So 50 Cards is an online website to pick up bundles, playset splits, deck boxes, play mats, singles, whatever you guys need to update your decks for both Vanguard and Shadowverse. So please be sure to check them out and use code Nexus to get 5% off at checkout as well. And without further ado, let's jump right into the deck profile. All right, jumping into the deck profile, we got our ride line, the same one that came in the Bazarga trial deck, so nothing new there. So the grade one searches for your shield. The grade two, after you discard your shield, you add it back to your hand, so it's a free ride. And then we got our main girl, Bazarga. So we just want to make sure that we're, uh, you know, drawing into that shield and making sure we got it for the easy ride. So if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Then we got our three Babzarga because Persona Ride is basically how we get advantage out of this deck. So we gotta we gotta work with what we got. Then we got four copies of Divistia, which is a really, really good card and a new one from set 12. So what this does is when it's placed on rear, Soul Blast 1, top seven, look for up to one uh, dress boost card and one arms card. Choose one of them, put it into your hand and the other goes to the drop zone and then you shuffle the rest of your deck. Then when this attacks and it's on rear guard circle, if it attacks a grade three or greater unit and you have two arm cards on your vanguard circle, it gets 10K. Just like a good old fashioned 20K beater front row. So it's still really good overall after you finish resolving its skill. Then last of the grade twos running two copies of Kong Shati just because you know, it's still good for searching out the spear when you need it, because that's pretty much the first arm card you want to play. Um, and it also has that cool ability to put an active arm card into the soul to draw a card. So that way you're filling up your soul and making room to play more arm cards, which is nice. So that's pretty much it for those. Now we're going to move on to the grade ones. Starting off for grade ones, we got our new card, which is Vire Lord. So Vire Lord is overdress for a Trick Moon. So after you overdress on the Trick Moon, you can kind of blast one, choose a total of two arm cards from your hand to drop, arm one to your Vanguard, put the rest into your soul. So also helps fill soul. Then it's dress boost ability is when this boosts while it's in the overdress state, your front row gets 5K for each of your arm cards, which is really nice because as opposed to it giving the boosted unit a big old boost, you can make your front row bigger, kind of making it more consistent and a little bit more scary. So. I do like Fire Lord as an upgrade. Oh, almost forgot. It has that really, really cool ability where this unit can't be chosen by opponent's card effects. And that's just in general. Like that's not even if it's in the overdress state. So you can just have this on the board and your opponent can't target it. That is pretty cool. I do be liking that. Then on to our next grade one, which is Gynet, which is one of the new cat cards. So each nation got a nation specific cat that does a similar effect with the guard circle and a different effect for the rear guard effect. So you put two cards that were from your ride deck back or back into your ride deck from solar drop face up. And then you can either draw a card or if it's in the guard circle, get another 15 shield. So 20K shield is always helpful. Get an extra draw is nice. And we're soul blasting so much so that our, our right deck is gonna go back into our soul pretty easily anyways, so, or into our drop zone. So running two because you can only really use it up to two times. Then next we have our three copies of Twin Buckler Dragon. Uh, we're running the three because we run the one Elementaria, making room for that, but pretty much the same as always, three PGs, one Elementaria. So that is it for grade ones. Then for our grade zero normal units, we got our four trick moon because this is what gives you counter charge and it's your original dress target for Vire Lord. And you know, that's just kind of what makes the deck go. So yeah, trick moon. Then into our triggers, drag Veda, kind of self-explanatory. It's a re-standing Vanguard and Babzarga gains a crit. And uh, you got that new ax, which makes it so your opponent has a guard or two at a time. So a re-standing Vanguard with 100 mil with that is also pretty nice, so can't go wrong. Then crits, we got our burning flails at four. Uh, on top of that, we got our four vanillas. Then we got three draws and our four heals. The trigger lineup has pretty much stayed the same. There's nothing new going on here. I like this as opposed to running fronts just because it's still good to see the cards that you're looking for like Vire Lord or Trick Moon or a specific specific arm card. Uh, if you like fronts, you can play around with the ratios. I know some people do like two draw, two front, and seven crit. Work with what you want, you know, that can work too. I might shift that up 
but uh, the trigger lineup is definitely there's some splashability uh, in this, but this is what I'm working with for now. Then onto our order cards, starting off with our arms. We got a new one, which is Sharia. What Surya does is when you arm it, you can choose your opponent's back row rear guard, retire it, give Rangar gets 10K. So a good little snipe. I like it a lot, honestly. I like being able to snipe rear guards. Second fact is at the end of your turn, this goes into the drop and you pick a card with right deity arms from your drop different from this card's name and you put it back to your hand. So it's pretty much gonna be the spear. Speaking of the spear, we're running four spear because the spear lets you play an additional arm and it lets you draw a card, which is nice. And it gives your van 10K. So, you know, they kind of do a similar thing, but spear is good. Then for left arms, we got a new one. We got Tivashtar. Vashtar, I think I'm saying that right. Instead of the shield, what you can do is during the battle that this unit attacked, if your opponent would call cards from hand to guard, they have to call two at a time. Then at the end of your turn, you can count a last one, put this in your drop, choose a left DD arms uh, from your drop and arm it. So you would pick the shield. So you would basically search your deck out for this, discard it for the grade two, and then possibly discard it for the grade three turn. And then you would arm the ax, and then you would use its ability to put the shield back onto your vanguard for that defensive skill. So the shield is really simple. It's just when this unit is, when the armed unit is attacked defensively once per turn, you can give it 10K for the battle. Super simple. Last but not least, we got our Elementaria Sanctitude, which is basically our fourth PG, but it gets around guard restrict and it's free against uh, units with triple drive. And since Bastion Accord is a deck that's pretty popular right now, we got great fours running around again. So the Elementary is gonna see a lot more free usage because of that. So might as well use it. And that was it for the deck profile. Thank you guys for uh, sticking around and watching. I always appreciate you guys coming out, checking out what decks we're cooking up. And uh, we're gonna be getting some games with this deck hopefully uh, in the near future. So stay tuned for that if you have uh, any uh, ideas or thoughts about improvements on this deck, I'd love to know because I'm trying to get back into my uh, bluish flame era, if you know what I mean. And before the video ends, just be sure to check out with the cards. They got singles, they got booster boxes, they got deck boxes, sleeves, and they got those nation bundles to make it easier for you to update your decks going forward. So definitely check those out. Make sure to use code Nexus to get 5% off as well. And that'll do it. I'm Richard, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.